What's up and welcome back to the Nation Network YouTube. I'm back with a little bit more trade talk for you Oilers fans. And a couple of weeks ago, when I put out my three trade targets that I think Ken Holland should be looking at, a lot of people said, hey, throw out all the names you want, but what can the Oilers give up? What can they trade to make their team better between now and the trade deadline? And I heard you, which is why I'm here with my list of five assets that I think Ken Holland should consider dangling to improve the Oilers roster Right now, we're going to do this thing in reverse order, and we're going to start with number five, late round draft picks. Not exactly the uh, the sexiest of options here on the list, but the Oilers do have their fifth, sixth, and seventh rounders in this year's draft. They don't have their second rounder, as it's probably going to be held up in the Duncan Keith deal, and they don't have a third rounder. It was traded away. The fourth rounder traded away as well, but they do have some late round picks. They also have all their draft picks in 2023 and all their draft picks in 2024, but those late round picks could come in handy if Ken Holland is maybe trying to offload some cap space and get someone to take half of Miko Koskinen's contract or something like that. So those late round draft picks, not the sexiest of options, but they could come in handy for Ken Holland if he's looking to make some fringe additions or offload cap space. Number four, I have the B-level forward prospects sitting in their organization list. And I'm not moving Dylan Holloway, and I'm probably not moving Xavier Borgo either. These guys are probably close to being able to help you at the NHL level. And as we've seen this year with Evan Bouchard, it's really important to have players who can come in on their entry-level deals and help out. But at the same time, I do think Ken Holland should be willing to mortgage a little bit of the future here. And that's why, I mean, you can look at the list. Matvey Petrov, Raphael Lavoie, who's down in Bakersfield right now. Tyler Tulio, Carter Savoy, who's a Hobie Baker finalist. And Maxime Denizakin, who is a seventh rounder in 2019, but has some good numbers in the junior league over in Russia. I'm not saying trade all five of these. In fact, I wouldn't move a guy like Carter Savoy. But I do think you can look at some other names on that list and go, you know, if we can dangle those guys in a package deal with maybe our third rounder next year or even our second rounder next year, and it can bring us back some immediate help, I do think you have to consider doing it. Number three on my list is someone on the active roster, Kyler Yamamoto. Now, listen, the scenario in which I would move Kyler Yamamoto if I was the Oilers GM is basically only if it's in a package deal for a slam dunk big addition to this year's roster. And part of the reasoning is, not that I don't like Kyler Yamamoto, the player. I think he can help out in your top nine. And the fact he's making less than one and a half million dollars this year really helps out with their cap situation. But they might have a tough time re-signing him in the offseason with their limited cap space. And the fact they also have to re-sign Yeso Pugliarvi and go get a goaltender. So if there is a team out there right now that you think is maybe overvaluing Yamamoto a little bit and you can put him in a deal to bring back either a legit left-handed defenseman, a legit starting goalie, or a legit top six winger, I think you do have to consider moving Yamamoto at some point. Number two is Dmitry Samurakov, the left-handed defenseman. Came up, played one game for the Oilers this season, and eh, he didn't look that good. But he's still a pretty well-regarded prospect. And listen, I know you could move Philip Broberg. He is the more valuable of the two. But I like Broberg's chances of coming up and contributing next year at the NHL level. I'm maybe not as high on Dmitry Samurakov, and I do think he has some value. He's been in trade offers before with the Edmonton Oilers, and I think he's a piece you could certainly dangle at the deadline for some immediate help. And number one on my list, it's the next two first round picks. It's an easy one. It doesn't take anything away from your current roster. It doesn't take anything out of your prospect pool. And as I laid out with guys like Broberg and Borgo and Holloway, and even young guys on the current roster, like Evan Bouchard and Yesu Bouliarvi, the Oilers actually have a fair amount of future help coming up through their organization. They need some more help right now, making this year's team a contender. And that's why I think Ken Holland should not only have this year's first rounder on the table, but I think he should have next year's first rounder on the table as well. Whether he's looking for a goalie, looking for some scoring help, or looking for a stud left-handed defenseman that can help this team out and help them get into the playoffs this year, I think all five of these assets that I listed need to be on the table. And I think the two first rounders should certainly be in play let me know what you think. Got any moves? Got any potential trade scenarios you'd like to see play out for the Oilers in the next few months? Drop it in the comments below. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button as well. We'll chat again soon.